Haley Baldwin was a stan. I'm gonna go off and I'm gonna create my own thing and mom's gonna respect me. Mom, is, can I, hold on, I'm streaming right now. Is that okay? Okay. No shade, everyone be nice to each other. Is something we were talking <laughs> about with Harry. I need to explain why I'm covering this in the first place. I was out rolling loud this weekend. I was being a little gremlin. I was, ah! Anyways, I'm there this weekend and I love Don Tolliver, having a great time and you're not gonna believe what Don Tolliver does. He brought out Justin Bieber and as a pad, listen, I wasn't like a Justin Bieber stan, but like, I, I I, was like, I don't know, he's hot, whatever. And then it hit me. I was like, wait, is he just out here having a good time while his wife is fighting for her life online right now? So then I reached out to Lauren. I was like, Lauren, I need a file on Hailey Bieber and Selena Gomez. And you know my desk by Monday morning. I'm not kidding, that actually happened. Before we get into this, I need to give you guys some tea that is heavy on my mind right now that I know I'm not gonna make into an individual video. So if you're into the Hailey Bieber and Selena arc right now, I think you'll be interested in this. Tell me if you remember Kylie Jenner being named a billionaire. I always remembered when Forbes came out with the article of Kylie Jenner, a self-made billionaire. And all of us were over here scratching our heads. They were like, didn't she have Kim or somebody's money coming up in here? And they were like, self-made. And we were like, well, and they were like, she, her mom cut her off years ago. And we were like, okay, I, yeah, I guess I'll take it. Well, whatever, she's a billionaire now. I never saw the follow-up article where Forbes retracted her billionaire status. Inside Kylie Jenner's web of lies and why she's no longer a billionaire. Now, I, if you're like me, you saw this headline and you were like, <gasps> When the youngest of the clan, Kylie Jenner, sold 51% of her Kylie cosmetics to beauty giant Cody in a deal valued at 1.2 billion this January, it was a watershed moment for the family, one of the greatest celebrity cash-ins of all time. The transaction seemed to confirm what Kylie had been saying all along and what Forbes had declared in March 2019, that Kylie Jenner was indeed a billionaire. To my knowledge, Kris Jenner had like cut off Kylie or something. I don't know the legitimacy of this, but if you watched anything on the Kardashians, you would kind of see that over the years, Kendall and Kylie didn't really want to be involved with the show, whereas all of the other Kardashian sisters were like, mom, I'm there. I'm there for it because, you know, Kris Jenner had trained them with me shape, whatever. So I think Kylie legitimately probably was getting less money from her family, from all these branded things, whatnot. So Kylie says, I'm going to go off and I'm going to create my own thing and mom's going to respect me. And she goes off and she makes it. And Kylie lip kits really did do really well. Well, Kim Kardashian was set to do a feature, a cover on Forbes. Kris Jenner, who is like the momager, she's already got Kim in on Forbes. And then she sees that Kylie is doing well with Kylie Cosmetics. And so she tries to get Kylie in in the magazine too. And Forbes is like, why would we interview Kylie Jenner? And Kris Jenner's like, well, she's about to be a billionaire. And Forbes is like, wait, your like youngest daughter's about to be a billionaire? And Kris is like, yeah, she's about to be a billionaire. And Forbes is like, all right, prove it. So they say revenue was up 400 million over the business's first 18 months with a personal take-home pay of 250 million for Kylie. Pressed for proof, they opened up their books, Kylie Cosmetics. During the meetings at Kris Jenner's house, the family's accountant was shown tax de returns detailing 307 million in personal incomes of more than 110 million for Kylie that year. That would have been enough to put her on the number two spot on a celebrity list of 100 behind Taylor Swift. So the books that the Jenners were presenting to Forbes magazine said that Kylie was the third richest celebrity in the world, or what, the fourth? Yeah, behind Taylor Swift. So Forbes goes in and they start analyzing all of the books and all of the documents. So after Forbes reached out to all these analysts and they started combing through all the books and everything, they were like, this just wasn't possible. So they released this massive retraction story. Forbes, America's women billionaires, and Kylie got the cover. Guys, this is actually such a big moment for them PR-wise. Now, this is gonna tie into the Hailey Bieber and Selena stuff that we're talking about, okay? Then there were the Kylie financials. Revenues over a 12 month period preceding the deal, 177 million, far lower than the published estimates at the time. More problematic, Cody said that sales were up 40% from 2018, meaning that the business only generated about 125 million this year, nowhere near the 360 million that the Jenners had led 
Forbes to believe. Allegedly, they inflated their numbers. Like I said, that's gonna tie back a little bit into our story today. I'm gonna have a suspicion meter here. There are some things in this whole Haley Selena debacle that I don't think are that big of a deal. Um, and I'll express that to you, but you'll see it visualized. So. If you're not up to date on the Hailey Bieber's Selena Gomez drama, also featuring Kylie Jenner and a few other people, we're gonna do a full run through. A while ago, Hailey Bieber and her friends, they were all together one night and they posted this little video on TikTok. I'm not saying she deserved it, but I'm saying God's timing is always right. This video got posted and people started to suspect that it had something to do with these paparazzi photos of Selena Gomez. If you don't know, Selena, she's been living her life. She's been having a good time. There's been articles that said that she's gained a little bit of weight or also because of her lupus diagnosis, she's on steroids like prednisone or something, and it can kind of give you a different shape to your face. This has to be really hard for Selena, like having the whole world watch you grow up, like what you looked like prior, then first of what you look like now, even though she looks phenomenal. And so Selena though was still getting some pushback from different people saying, oh, she looks different. And then right after that whole, you know, paparazzi debacle, Haley posted this video. People thought that this video was Kendall and Haley and her friend shading Selena. Personally, I just, I, I, I didn't see it. You know, I was like, I don't know about that. But then <laughs> they both commented on the video. I've been getting conflicting information that either they both commented on the same video or it was two separate videos, not entirely sure. But these comments were made on TikTok from a verified Selena account and a verified Hailey Bieber account regarding the whole debacle. So Selena says, it's okay. I don't let these things get me down. Be nice to everyone. And then the internet goes crazy because it's like Selena is implying that this might actually be about her. Like most of the time celebrities just let stuff wash off their back and everyone was like, well, why would Selena respond? But then also Haley responded to the comment. She was and Haley said, I never comment on this type of thing, but we were just having a girls night and did a random TikTok sound for fun. It's not directed at anyone. Rewind. This to me is the biggest red flag. Selena Gomez announced that she was putting out a documentary about her life. Everything that happened, like how she felt, her emotions, just a raw documentary, okay? People love Selena. They were ready for this. She's had a great career, but one thing that people really harp on was her relationship with Justin Bieber. Every girl wanted to be Selena. Everybody wanted Justin. It was just a big fiasco, right? And then Hailey Bieber kind of swooped in and people feel like Hailey stole Justin from Selena. How strange is it that right before Selena comes out with her documentary about her life, Hailey Bieber goes on a podcast called Call Her Daddy. It's a pretty controversial podcast. I feel like Alex will let people tell any narrative that they want. She's the host of Call Her Daddy, just so she can get some big names on the podcast. So right before Selena's about to release this documentary about her life, Haley doesn't know what Selena's gonna say, but Haley tries to go do a damage control, and if she can't get a documentary or a production team that fast, so she goes on Call Her Daddy, and for no reason, starts talking about her relationship with Justin Bieber. So people felt like Haley was trying to get her side out before Selena's documentary came out. Now, this was prior to the situation we're talking about today. So this is where people started feeling like, is there something going on with Haley and Selena? So then Selena posted this story. This is me. I accidentally laminated my brows too much. My name, Selena Gomez. See, it doesn't even sound sexy. So after Selena posted that, Kylie Jenner posts this story. And I guess it just said this was an accident. And it's just, it's just her. This is the photo that really set y'all on fire. Now, I just want to say beforehand, personally, my, my suspicion meter on this one is pretty low. This one just isn't doing it for me. So this is Haley right here. And this is Kylie right here. And they were like, Oh my God, Haley and Kylie are making fun of Selena because it was posted on the same day. Selena over laminates her eyebrows, posts a video about it, it gets millions of views. And then Haley and Kylie post close ups of their eyebrows. Now, I'm sorry, some of us may not agree here. My suspicion meter 
pretty low right here because mm. sometimes I'm just looking ugly from the below and like if I like if I just zoom in on my eyes and my eyebrows are done like I do just kind of look like a baddie they might have just been trying to show that they're on FaceTime together it's not doing it for me folks it can do it for you but it's eh. so then Kylie comes out and she says, this is reaching. No shade towards Selena ever, and I didn't see her eyebrow post. You guys are making something out of nothing. This is silly. Once again, guys, I kind of believe this. I think that there's a point where like celebrities, when they're known for like entertaining people, and when the celebrity goes off and does their own thing, people want the celebrity to continue to entertain them. So they create these narratives, okay? We saw it happen a lot with Britney Spears. It's Britney, so then Selena comes in and she comments on this as well. And she's like, yeah, no shade. Everyone be nice to each other. She's like, no, like me and Kylie are cool, basically. I couldn't find the comment. That's, that's kind of the gist of what she says. Now, this is where the internet really jumps in. How many of you have ever been mean girled before? So that's against the rules and you can't sit with us. I feel like that's such a universal experience. And if you've been mean girled before, when you see somebody else being mean girled, your heart jumps out of your body. You're like, no. You will not do this. So the world starts to think that Hailey Bieber and Kylie Jenner are being mean girl to Selena. And then it's like, you feel like you have the chance to be there for Selena. So people start, especially the hardcore Selena Gomez fans, they start digging up these clips of Hailey Bieber. Now, regardless of whether all the other stuff was shady or not, when the internet puts a target on you, everything is coming up from the past. If you didn't know, Selena Gomez and Taylor Swift are very, very good friends publicly. They've retained this friendship over the years. About a celebrity since Taylor Swift's last album. <laughs> what? I cannot justify when somebody like says another celebrity's name and the person just goes eh. like it's okay that's not a coincidence then these old shady tweets where Haley baldwin for no reason was being catty to taylor swift she tweeted taylor swift and harry styles are the worst couple of 2012 it's official now we're gonna get back to this but Haley Baldwin was a stan. She was in the stan community. But we'll get back to that. Somebody tweeted, would you smack her for 835 billion? Taylor Swift. And then someone said, I'd smack her for a sweet tea from McDonald's. And Haley Baldwin liked it. Is this real? Oh my God, okay. I need to give a disclaimer here. Anybody online can Photoshop stuff these days. And because I have this platform, I have to like say that, but this is not the first time that I've seen like proof of Haley like shading her in some way. So I'm gonna tell you, keep it with a grain of salt. I believe this is real though. What? I don't, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Beyonce versus Taylor Swift. That is the biggest joke I've ever heard in my life. Beyonce obviously would just, who, who, Beyonce would win against anyone that you put her up against. I think Taylor would understand. Didn't sound too shady, but not the best PR answer. So people started digging this up. And bec like I said, because Taylor and Selena are really, really close friends, people are like, why is Haley just like shading Taylor so hard? Then we don't have the exact video, but it is confirmed that under one of these videos where someone resurfaced an old clip of Haley shading Taylor, Selena Gomez commented this. So sorry, my best friend is and continues to be one of the best in the game. Now, you guys might think so far, this is nothing. When, when I'm explaining it to you, you're like, I, I could see how that's a thing. I could see how that's a thing. And then some of you are like, who cares? Well, a lot of people online cared because this is what happened the next day. This is February 24th. Selena Gomez surpasses Kylie Jenner as most followed woman on Instagram. As of Friday, Gomez has more than 382 million followers while Jenner has over 380 million. You remember I told you earlier how Kris Jenner was so desperate for Kylie to be on the Forbes cover that she was possibly willing to forge documents about it? That title holds a lot of credence, right? A female billionaire. It, it gives them a lot of leverage when they're doing other things, when they're making deals with fashion designers, when they're doing brand deals. And one huge thing that would go in a media kit, if you don't know, a media kit is kind of like this one sheet that has all of your credentials, all this stuff. When they're negotiating for a brand deal through, you know, emails, Instagram, whatever, to be able to say that Kylie Jenner is the most followed woman on Instagram instantly gets them whatever they want. 
it's like if you if you want this promotion you're getting it from the best of the best the most followed woman on instagram and now with selena taking that spot she has to take that off of every media kit. She's got to take that out of every email. And moving forward, they can't say that anymore. And not only is that a huge hit to the ego, but it's also a hit to business. It really is. So the internet is just going wild at this point. And like I said, when the internet has a target on your back, they will dig up anything and everything. Some people aren't even, they don't really even care about the conspiracy too much. Some people just want more likes on TikTok. And if they know that Haley's getting trashed right now, if they dig up dirt on her, then they're gonna get more likes, right? Well, people found out that Haley was a stan. Okay, you know how there's the, the K-pop, you know, Twitter group stands, all those hardcore fans. Haley was one of those, but she was one of those for Justin Bieber, her now husband. Oh my God, this is so embarrassing. So somebody went through and they they searched Selena Gomez, they searched a couple keywords and they sent this over to somebody. So these are somebody's DMs with all the tweets they could click on. Here's some tweets she posted. Hem and Selena are so cute and cheesy. He's cheesy towards her and it's cute. She's saying this about Justin Bieber, who she married later. Go catch Selena Gomez's new movie, Monte Carlo. It's so cute, a summer movie. You'll love it. Now, I, dude, I gotta say again, I gotta say this is a legend. Like, I want you to look at these and you kind of come to your own conclusions if you want to dig into a deeper or something. So then Haley tweets, Monte Carlo was so cute, loved it, at Selena Gomez. You looked beautiful, smiley face. You were adorable in the movie. You're so sweet. Haley Baldwin, happy 20th to at Selena Gomez. Hold on. I don't, I, do you guys think she would have deleted these? Did she delete her Twitter? Is her Twitter just gone? She, she doesn't have a Twitter. She doesn't have a Twitter. <laughs> Did Justin Bieber marry a bitch? <laughs> this is from a girl named Dana. Like you might be one of them watching and be like, okay, I remember Dana because I was everywhere. If Justin Bieber stepped foot in New York, I was already there. Like I was that fan. You're probably a fan of people like that right now. So nope. I totally relate. Justin Bieber got engaged to Haley Baldwin. We all know this. This isn't news. That's not why you clicked this video. I don't even want to, I don't even know what to call it because it's so beyond iconic that there needs to be a new word invented for what Haley Baldwin has done. Yes, you could oh, dude, say she had a she... famous family, but she had the irrelevant Baldwin dad, and I'm so Wait. sorry to have to say that. Like, I don't know, like, sorry Stephen Baldwin fans, but there's not anyway. This girl ran a Justin Bieber fan account, one of the biggest Justin Bieber fan accounts, and she was friends with Haley Baldwin because she was a Bieber fan. Wait, hold on one second. Mom, is, can I, hold on, I'm streaming right now. Is that okay? Okay. Dude, I have a question for you. Is Stephen Baldwin famous? Stephen Baldwin, he's one of the Baldwin brothers, right? Yeah, but actor? is he famous? Like, is he, did you ask if he's an actor? You saw all these movies from back in the day. Was he in anything? I don't know, like, is he Is he rich? You think he's rich? Um, not as much as his brother, Alec. Okay, so you don't, there was like, you don't remember him like back in the day for being like, oh. so, so he's kind of like the, is he like the broke Baldwin? He's probably, yeah, I think they're all broke except um, Alec. They're all minor actors with the exception of Alec Baldwin. Okay. All right. Okay. Haley Baldwin. Dude. Okay. No. Oh my God. I wanted to dive into this so bad and I want to dive into it, but I feel like as a content creator, I do have to make you guys aware that there's so much fake stuff and fake screenshots going in, but she just, she's screen recording. She's screen recording the app. So if you don't know what she's doing right now, she is screen recording on her phone, going on Twitter and searching Haley Baldwin's old account before she deleted it. And then searching her username, which is Dana Rose to prove that they knew each other. Dana Rose. Which is my Twitter, by the way, two E's. They, they knew each other, knew each other. The fact that Haley Baldwin is me. I am Haley Baldwin. You are Haley Baldwin. We are all Haley Baldwin no. in this world. Haley Baldwin went from 
trying to bump into Justin Bieber at the Satai. The in Miami? To- the Satai is like, it's like the, it's like the nicest hotel in South Miami. Last time I went there, we, like my boyfriend called me downstairs. He's at the pool and I'm like, babe, do you need me to bring anything? And he's like, no, but come quick. Adam Levine's down here. It was right before the summer stroll whole thing. It was like a month or two right before that. Like, everyone's making a joke that it was her 10 year plan. Like, fucking did it she did that and i don't even know she how said- like i want to know how i need to do that okay but like where's the tea where's the facts like i'm gonna show you and says is something we were talking about with Harry. <laughs> the baldwin leaks <laughs> Dude. So just to just to summarize, Dana is saying that Haley Baldwin was a hardcore Justin Bieber fan, and Haley was telling her that's my ten year plan to be with Justin. And so Dana's saying, dude, girl, praise. Like you did it. I oh my god, it feels almost criminal going through these texts right now, but I can't look away. Me, and Melissa, and a few others are staying at the London. The weekend one D is here. You should come hang out that Saturday. Um, I think I'm coming to hang out Saturday. I'm so confused. Where does, when does Justin's tour start? With Harry Styles, blah, blah, blah. She said, 5-16-2012. I'm so confused. When does Justin's tour start? I said, we're all confused. When he said next week, I think he's releasing dates next week. And I'm almost 100% positive it will be a fall winter tour that will go into 2013. She said, right. That's what I thought. I was like, tour as in concerts? (laughs) Haha, I was so confused. Of course she's asking me. I'm one of his biggest fucking fans. So she wanted to know, like, and we were friends, okay? Which you could see between the millions of tweets between us. And the fact that she follows me on Twitter, which probably after this, maybe not. He made it sound like the tour starts next week, blah, 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 blah. She was a fan, bro. I don't even know what to tell you. Her third message, why, what's up? Do I got a punch? Oh my god, dude. Haley gets more mean girl energy in these messages than anything. The blue is her. Guys, my dumb ass. Hold on. Crush on Stereo High. He's gonna know you're an idiot. Wait, she's still roasting. Yeah, the kid is annoying, so just ignore it. I think I'm coming to hang out probably Saturday. I'm just confused when this Justin Soros are. Okay, all right, guys. I'm an idiot. I will say the mean girl energy is still kind of there. Who the f runs the team? She's so rude. I can't even handle it. Called somebody else annoying right above there. They both have mean girl energy. So I guess it's just some teenager. Here you're gonna see where I wrote Satai Fifth app. The the DM that was right above that that she sent to me is gone because she unsent it right away. And if I went back to my MacBook from 2013, maybe I could find that because above that, and you're gonna have to take my word for this one because I don't have it, but she said, what hotel is Justin staying at? Kylie and I want to know. Stop. I know you don't believe me, and that's fine. You don't have to believe me. Nobody's forcing you to. I don't, but. If you look up Satai Fifth Ave around February 2013, you will see that like he would he stays there. He stayed there a million and one times. So she said, "What the f- random ho- hotel?" Cause like whatever. But I gave them that info because at the time Haley and Kylie were staying at the London. Justin had been known to stay at the London, but he was staying at the Satai. Okay, so back then it was easier to fake Twitter DM. I had tweeted a fake DM between me and Justin, and she DM'd me and said, "Wait, are those DMs real?" And I said, "No. Oh my God, I'm mocking someone who made f- fake DMs by just using an account with his picture and cropping in. Everyone believed them." And she said, "Haha, was gonna say." That's all of our DMs. Easy. Like, I couldn't make this up. Do you think she's told him this? Oh, you can't see? She said, no, more than 5'8", because I'm 5'7 and a half, and we're literally almost the exact same height. That's talking about Justin's height. This was in 2012. Remember when Justin and Selena and all of them made that Call Me Maybe video? Oh, God! Oh, <laughs> So Justin and Selena did a parody video of the song Call Me Maybe. It was just supposed to be like a cute little MacBook video. And then some of the Justin Bieber stands decided to do a parody of their parody video. And Hailey Bieber was in the video. To me, this proves 100% without a shadow of a doubt that Hailey Bieber was in fact a Justin Bieber stand. You could probably find it for yourself, but I'm not even like I'm in it. So like I don't even want it the whole thing out there but there she, like that the was her clip. that's Haley. she was she was in it Haley bieber was in a justin bieber stan video oh, i mean Haley, you hear what i'm saying Haley bieber who married justin bieber was a justin bieber stan so basically this feud with selena and Haley. Which, personally, I think it was a little unfounded. I think the eyebrows were a stretch. I don't know if they actually posted that thing poking fun at Selena. But 
it really just blew up into people digging up stuff from Haley that had kind of surfaced because this video was posted three years ago and now it's all over TikTok with like millions of views. We're not done yet. <laughs> Everyone, I need you to strap in. So far, we've covered everything that I'm like, eh, I don't know about that. Eh, I don't know about that. But now we're just getting to the undeniables of what's going on here. So a number of videos started going around where people said that Haley was obsessed with Selena. And if you believe that some of those tweets from the past were true, maybe she did at one point really want to be Selena. I don't know. Listen, we're going to go Bo's conspiracy land for a second, okay? I need you to imagine that you're like born into this world and like your family's really, really famous and like people are always following you with cameras and everything. But like your dad is like always trying to get acting roles to be as good as his brother and he doesn't really have a lot of money. And then sometimes he has to call his brother up to borrow money from him. And he's just like, like your dad's like weirdly obsessed with the limelight, but he's also like not really famous. But people are treating you like you're famous because you're a Baldwin, but like you guys don't really have a fuckload of money. So it creates like this weird dysphoria and you're like whatever I'm gonna go refocus on something else and then you find the stan community and you know all these people and everyone really really likes Justin Bieber and you're like well I want that I I, I want him but I don't think that's ever really possible um I I don't know you know Selena's really cool god I wish I was Selena and like that's just kind of like your like you know 15 16 year old fantasy right well if that was actually her life us getting to this point it's it's creepy. It's creepy. Now, if she was actually obsessed with Selena, then these clips make a lot more sense. This is where people started to say that Haley was copying Selena Gomez. And I I don't know how to contest this one. This is my real home. Everything that we're doing is at home. This is my amazing kitchen, which is the set. Yes. yes, we actually are in my real kitchen, in my real house. This is not a set. This is where I really live. This is my papa. Hi, JJ. This is my Nana Ruth. This is she literally <laughs> had a cooking show where the clips of it were oddly similar to Selena's from the intro to, I mean, hey, you just, you be the, the judge of that. Dude. I just, I don't, I don't know. I don't know, Haley. Uh, everybody else seemed to be narrating my life for me. Yes. So why don't I put something out that is my side of the story? It's not hateful or anything. It's simply a beautiful moment to, to let go of. And yeah. I was really, really proud of it. I was able to tell my story about who I was from my own mouth instead of people from the outside being able to tell my story for me. Somebody asked me a while ago, what's the one thing you wish people knew about you? And I said I wanted it to be my heart. What do you wish more people knew about you? My heart. <laughs> you make me cry. Oh, no. This came out, I really felt like I always battled with the idea that people didn't really know me. They didn't know who I was. They didn't know Haley for Haley, and I just, always had this constant battle where I was saying, I wish people just knew my heart. And I was the first CD and the first concert I ever purchased. That is interesting. Mm -hmm. It was Baby Wait, One she was the time. first concert you went to? In the first CD I ever had. She was the first record I ever bought, and she was the first concert I ever went to, Baby One More Time. Britney documentary, yeah, and, and I love Britney Spears. She was the first concert I ever went to. Like, I idolized her as a kid, and... That was one of the moments where I was like, I don't have to be that 19-year-old body shape anymore because I'm not. Like, I'm also growing up. Like, I... That's the other thing, too, that I, I think I'm learning is that. I'm not 19 anymore. <gasps> I'm 24 now. I feel like my body has changed Wait! the most. Listen. I'm just presenting everything to you and you you can just you can just go from there. You decide, okay? You decide. And yeah, some people in chat are mentioning that they do have a similar tattoo. It's a little weird. I don't Haley, I don't know if I can help you here. <laughs> Sus me to come back up a little bit. So this is Selena's tattoo. And then this is Haley's tattoo. <laughs> Selena got a tattoo for one of her relatives and it looks like it's a small G behind the ear and then Haley also got a small G behind her ear for one of Selena's relatives. I, I don't know. That one, I'm not ranking raw high on, okay? Just, you decide.
This one, very low on the sus meter, but I have something. This is very important that ties into this. That, that's what y'all think. The man's just holding his arm out. A reach. Haley's trying to cover it with her hand. I'm sorry, a reach. And then somebody said that he was trying to deliberately lift his sleeve to show off his Selena tattoo. Guys, I'm sorry, I'm saying reach. Now, there's one thing that's actually not as much of a reach as I would like it to be. Like I said, this is the way the internet works. You kind of unlock one door and the internet says, well, we're gonna go in this door and see what we can find. One thing that is pretty evident is there's a lot of clips of Justin being seemingly rude to Haley. More more than other celebrities, I'll say that. Now, there's been this ongoing narrative, allegedly, that Justin might like to partake in some substances that take him away from this world. And it is my personal conspiracy observation. I just tell you what I think, and then you decide for yourself when we watch the clips. I think the dude's always out of it, and Haley's like, Justin, we're still here. We love this. Tell everyone that we love it. Everything's great, right? Like, I think Haley's really, like, trying to, like, push a little narrative. <laughs> That's just personally what I think. We're back in conspiracy land. I feel like I shouldn't be giving my opinions this hard, but as long as we're in conspiracy land, I think it's okay. I personally think that Haley really was a hardcore Justin Bieber fan, and she idealized him to this point where she had this massive goal to trap him, to date him, to, you know, become whatever. And so she had her father introduce her to him, which is true that that's how they met. There's a video of it. And she had this idealized version of what she thought Justin was gonna be. And he turned out to have a little problem. And it, it hasn't been everything that she chalked it up to be. Now I haven't seen this one, but it's in the doc. So let's see, this is a couple clips of Justin and his relationship with Haley. If you weren't so hot, I would've got rid of you a long time ago. Dude, stop! We were working alongside doctors leading up to the tour to make sure that, you know, he was doing everything necessary and safe for that and we'll just keep doing that. But it, it definitely is, you know, like it sucks that the tour was... Just she, she was asking me. Hmm? Huh? Yeah, she's like, the worst part about that clip to me is like Justin's energy always comes off like he's the main character, like he's the star. And like when you see them start laughing about this, they are not fucking laughing together. He's laughing at something and then she's like, hmm, he's not laughing with her. <laughs> no, that was so weird! So somebody in chat asked if Justin was scared about the Lyme disease and she answered for him and he said, girl, it's mine. Oh my God. Oh, Wait, right, but I, I didn't say that. I just was saying that you were taking all the necessary- Listen to me, woman. Oh my god, yeah, no. that's the attitude. Yeah. I like your bow. Thanks, babe. You look cute. Thanks. And your little earrings. Big earrings. You can't tell that this is see-through. <laughs> Ew! see-through. You can't even see it. Ew! I, Here, I no, think I'm girl. gonna vomit. Okay. <laughs> Here. Ugh! This is so awkward. I feel so awkward. I just feel so, like, super awkward. Oh my God. Oh, okay, we're back in post conspiracy land. It feels like she's always like trying to show the public like, oh, we, we're we good together. Like we're like, she's, it feels like she's always trying to like position herself in such a way. And he's just like, yo, the star is here. Like that's, does anyone else feel that energy? One, that can really suck for Haley. But two, this to me makes a lot of sense for a person that idealized somebody and said, I'm taking this, I'm dating this guy, I'm marrying this guy no matter what, I made it. And so in her eyes, she's like, look everyone, I made it, but this is the prize that you held out for for so long. I still get nervous with her in the room. Cause she's a fan. <laughs> um, you wanna just go back? And I was like, basically getting her out of the studio so I could finish this song. I wanna like make her feel bad about it. I had to plan a dinner. <laughs> what up, Jay? Good morning, Justin. You think that Haley was in the car? <laughs> right now, I am of the opinion that I don't really care about the Selena and Haley stuff. A lot of it's like coming up as a stretch to me. And also, you guys know, stands, they love to see couples that they believe are like truly in love be together forever, right? And so they'll fight, create narratives to make that possible. You, you guys know that happens. But what I will say is this whole drama has unlocked to most of the public that Haley Bieber was a fan. <laughs> Oh my god!
god, dude. Now that we've watched a few more, does anyone else get the vibe of Justin's like, I'm the star it's me i'm the star i'm the man and like it just really it really just comes out i really wonder if this relationship is everything that Haley thought it was gonna be i really do dude honestly after doing all this i kind of feel bad for Haley. like my brain has been like through this whole thing like i don't think that's true i think that that's kind of creepy oh this is terrible what happens next the last thing that i thought was pretty interesting was at the height of all this. I mean, this is when TikTok was going nuts. Everything was getting real crazy. It was Justin's birthday. And despite everyone roasting Hailey Bieber on social media, she still took to Instagram to post a happy birthday to her husband. I could not be, well, that's a cute, that's okay, there we go. Okay, look, they're together. Man, she, that's, that's it, that's all the pictures? She got any more pictures of them? I've heard a lot more like crazy like gossip stuff that's floating all over TikTok. That's why people are eating this up. People are like, did Kendall Jenner have some kind of relationship with them before then? Did people feel like Haley also stole her from then? People say that Haley runs like Justin, allegedly runs like Justin's social media account. That's why like all the photos are of her. I don't know. There's so, there's so many crazy like rabbit holes you can go down with blind items and things like that. I say... Take everything with a grain of salt. Do your research, which I say like after being like, is this screen cap real? Take it all with a grain of salt and you just decide what what's actually reach or not. Don't get too lost in the sauce. At the end of the day, I think this is all interesting, but it's not really a big deal. I saw this thing on Reddit where this girl posted her screen cap on a dating app. This guy said, I'll tell you my red flags if you tell me yours. And she said, I smoke crack. She's just joking. And then he said, I literally smoke crack every day at my snap. And he said, this is insane. I'm so happy you said that. I literally just cooked a ball. <laughs> and then he says, you are more than welcome to smoke this with me if you're being legit. I've never been more serious. <laughs> and she doesn't respond. <laughs> it's crack o'clock. Where are you at? The ball is almost gone. Knock, knock. Excuse me. It's crack o'clock. I would share my crack with you, sister. So get on over here to crack down. <laughs> I will once again offer you free crack. I have seven G's ready to fire. And she said, I don't actually smoke crack. How much is seven grams? Oh my God. That is so much crack. That is an egregious amount of crack. 